You know, libraries are seldom the center of controversy, but tonight there is one on the east side. The Indianapolis Public Library wants to replace the current branch at 25th and Sherman with a new one right across the street. Most people welcome that, but as our City Beat reporter Mary Mills tells us, not everyone likes what the library is threatening to do to make it happen. Library officials say a new branch is desperately needed, and it's important to keep it right here in the neighborhood even if that means getting the land needed through eminent domain. The Brightwood branch is located in a strip mall. It's been here 40 plus years and is the second smallest in the city. The library, Sharon Smith says it's time to replace it. We could do more materials. It would provide definitely more technology. Plans call for a new library, nearly triple the size of this one, with meeting rooms, study tables, and other amenities. I think it's fantastic. I certainly think it's sorely needed because, number one, it's not enough computers here. It will be great for students, for people that work to come and they just really needed it with the resources and everything. Not everyone, though, is behind the move. That's because the library wants to build the new branch across the street. We've heard from so many neighbors that really do want us here. They were concerned when we started talking about a new location. But to build here, the library needs to acquire nine parcels. We've been working at this for at least 18 months. And there are at least two holdouts. The woman who owns this church building and the owner of this liquor store. That's why the library is now asking the city to let it pursue eminent domain to acquire the properties for the betterment of the community. We had hoped that the um, property owners would negotiate with us, but this this will allow us to move the project forward. Charles Eberhardt, who's owned this liquor store for 20 years, says he fully supports a new branch but also says the library needs to pay him enough to relocate, and it's not even close. While we were unable to reach the other holdout, her sign speaks volumes. Patrons say it's a tough call. I don't want anybody to lose their business, but I mean, it's for the community. Several neighborhood groups support the library's plans to build here. They say it'd be great for the area, but the hope among all involved is that a solution can be found without resorting to eminent domain. Naomi?